So how does Pam Bondi, Trump's new AG pick, feel about free speech? Well, it turns out she's only for it when it suits her opinions. When it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter if the protesters are Americans or not. Deport them. Watch this. You know, you look around, the, the thing that's really the most troubling to me, these students in universities in our country, whether they're here as Americans or if they're here on student visas, and they're out there saying, I support Hamas. You and I have seen that on all of these television shows. Frankly, they need to be taken out of our country or the FBI needs to be interviewing them right away when they're saying, I support Hamas, I am Hamas. That's not saying I support all these poor Palestinians who are trapped in Gaza. That's not what they're saying. So I think their student visas need to be revoked. I think we need to reinstate President Trump's travel ban immediately. Um, there's a lot of things that can be done to stop this. But yeah, the anti-Semitism that is rampant throughout this country now, and it's truly, truly heartbreaking to see what's happening to all of our Jewish friends in this country by really just, I think, a lot of ignorant kids and students and people who don't understand that Hamas equals terrorism, even worse, at its worst. Okay, so frankly, they need to be taken out of our country or the FBI needs to be interviewing them right away, as she says. The thing that's really most tr troubling to me, these students and universities in our country, whether they're here as Americans or not, if they're here on student visas and they're out there saying, I support Hamas, then she says that the FBI should be taking them and interviewing them, even if they're Americans or not, which of course is against the Constitution. You cannot be taken out of the, as an American, well, I don't know. Maybe, you know what? They've been fiddling around with the Constitution for so long, doing things in order to harm us and our civil liberties. I guess maybe there is a provision if they claim that you are aiding and abetting terrorists, then maybe they can send you to Guantanamo. I'm not 100% certain, to be quite honest with you, how many of our protections we've lost since 9-11. But, um, and, I, and how many more are they trying to unravel in Congress as we speak right now in order to protect Israel. Anything and everything for Israel. This is just another showcasing right here, Pam Bondi being selected, that the entire Trump administration is pro-Israel and that whoever it is that funded Trump's campaign, Miriam Adelson with her $100 million, essentially got to select every single person that Trump stuck in his cabinet. And Matt Gates was somebody that the pro-Israel lobby hated. They hated him. Even when he said, yeah, I'm pro-Israel, I love Israel, I support Israel. The problem was with Matt Gates is he wasn't bought off. And they didn't like that. They didn't like that he stood up against this censorship that Israel's pushing through our Congress, censorship law and, um, and uh, declaration by Congress after declaration, BDS laws that prevent people from boycotting, divesting, or sanctioning a foreign country. Those laws have been passed in, in 38 states, at least in this country. And Matt Gates wasn't somebody that was bought off and he stood up against those and said, I don't think these are American values. It's one thing to have an ally and support an ally. It's another thing to harm your own citizens and dismantle free speech and our constitution in the in the name of a foreign country. But that's exactly what's been going on. And here you have Pam Bondi, an incoming AG, somebody who's supposed to be upholding the rule of law. And she's instead saying now that, yeah, you know what? Um, if you are protesting, so this is not you're aiding and abetting a terrorist organization. You're sending them material support or any of those types of things or joining them and fighting against our allies. No, this is just if you are protesting on a college campus, then you're going to be deemed a terrorist and we're going to take you out and the FBI is going to question you and we're even going to consider deporting you out of the country, American or not. That's what we're going to do to you. So that is totally antithetical to American values. It doesn't really matter what you think about Israel, whether you're an ally and you support Israel and you think we should be supporting them all the time. This is not the way. Dismantling American values is not the way to getting to where you need to, to, this is just not the way this is this is creating hostility towards israel because many of us have our eyes wide open to this and we don't want to have anything to do with this we don't want to have anything to do with the fact that um they have that there is a a, a concerted effort by a foreign middle eastern country to hinder our speech and our expression and and silence and censor debate on whether or not we should be supporting them. They don't want any of that, and they've been able to buy off our system. And Pam Bondi, the incoming AG, that is what she thinks. So is that a good AG? Is that somebody who's really going to be truly anti-establishment? 
no, it sounds like she's totally and completely in line with the establishment. It just depends on which establishment, but she's part of the pro-Israel, um, you, you know, the, the United States of Israel, make Israel great again establishment. And I find this quite, um, quite alarming, quite frankly. So, um, all right, let's move on with our sponsor here. Let's be honest. Our current health insurance system is broken. Astronomical prices, endless government red tape, a focus on sick care instead of prevention. It's unacceptable. The system isn't just outdated, it's failing us. And that's where crowd health comes in. Crowd health isn't health insurance. It's a revolutionary new way to handle health care through crowdfunding. Here's how it works. Everyone pays a set membership fee with the understanding that you will be asked to help crowdfund someone else's medical bills as needed, but only up to a certain amount. So for example, the max an individual will pay is $185 a month, a family of four or more, $605 a month, which is less than half the price of traditional health insurance. If the community is healthy, some months you're going to pay even less, but never more. The crowd health community has helped people pay medical bills from small fractures to cancer treatments to maternity care. By joining crowd health, you'll join a community of people who actually want to help each other in times of need. You get access to telemedicine visits, discounted prescriptions, and freedom from restrictive networks. And when life throws an unexpected medical event your way, the crowd health team is there to help pay for it. So join the revolution with crowd health. Get started for just $99 a month for your first three months with code Kim at joincrowdhealth.com. That's joincrowdhealth.com, code Kim. Uh, also, I have to give a mandatory uh, disclaimer on that one, which is, um, here, let me bring back the health card on that. The mandatory disclaimer is that Crowd Health is not insurance, so you can learn more about it at joincrowdhealth.com. But I did have a really great conversation with the CEO the other day. It is a really, really cool and novel idea. And I know a lot of us are shopping for health insurance right now. And it's like the sticker shock is mind blowing and crowd health will definitely reduce that sticker shock for you. So check it out, look into it, joincrowdhealth.com.